getting worse and worse. But I'm about to try to make a difference. See what I can do. What's up, you guys? Okay, it is my day off. It is Tuesday. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. My actual day off. So I got PTO all this week. I worked half a day on Monday and then the rest I was able to get PTO. At the last minute, my boss blessed me and I'm just super grateful for it. So I'm trying to get done in these first three days that I'm off things that I have not been able to get done for, um, for the vlog. And so all of you know that I've been working on a a room makeover for my son and also decluttering my garage this garage has been the worst it just got it, it went from bad to good to worse to bad to bad to terrible right now we're in the terrible and it's only gonna get worse but I don't say that to meditate on it um, I say that because that's reality I have to go through every single little tote that I have because I want to downsize my storage, downsize my decorations, downsize um, all the things that I have. And so with that being said, you just gotta, I, I have to push things out um, in order to not become a hoarder because I think that that's one of the things that, and one of the traits of a hoarder is you feel like you're going to use it. You feel like you need it. You feel like you will use it one day and you just store it. I know that because it's been me for a long time. So it looks bad, but it's going to get better. It's It always gets better. It always gets better. Never fails every time I do a declutter. It feels so incredibly amazing. And so I'm going to share this portion of the video um, of the vlog uh, will be just all I'm gonna be in here all day basically I wanted to get up early and get in here but I, w I slept in and being off I'm trying to give my body more sleep than I normally get so I see a mosquito I'm gonna spray myself down I am in tank top and shorts because I live in Texas it's really really hot and so um let's go ahead and get into this video i have a lot to go through i mean it just i'm about to do a quick overview and show you but it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay i'm gonna hook up some music i'm not going to record every single little thing that i go through because i mean that'll just be hours and hours of literal time lapse videos even if it's time lapse it'll still be so long so I'm gonna do like my son's room I'm gonna show where I'm at I'll show what I'm about to do I'll do a small time lapse of that portion of what I'm doing and then I'll show what it looks like after um, so right now the first thing that I'm going to get into is um, this I have some totes right here. You can't see them, but I'll show it to you here in a little bit. Those are all my kids' memories. And so I also have white bo these white boxes over here. That's what I plan to put their memories in. And so I'm going to go through that first. I just thought about something. I have trash on the floor. So I think I'm going to cover the trash first. That way I have open space to put out their memories to decide what I'm keeping, what I'm not, making piles, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the trash up and then I'm going to go through these totes. Um, but last night I was really upset and I wanted to tackle this, but I was, I was just exhausted. So I had to be real with myself and I felt like when I'm upset, I don't care and I just throw things out. And that's what I was hoping to do. But we're trying to be mature about this, and so I'm not going to reach into my anger and frustration to get rid of things. I want to reach into a more peaceful and calming place. So I'm going to have earbuds in with music, and it's just going to be music that makes me happy, that brings good vibes, and, um, and then... I'm just gonna work that way. So I've told all the kids, sent the memo out to all the kids in the house, my husband and everybody that I'm going to be busy all day today. Tomorrow is Thursday, then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So tomorrow I plan to do things with the kids, whether it's go to the pool, go on a hike, um, go to the movies, 
tomorrow is when I plan to spend start spending every single day until Sunday with my children. But right now, I really have a goal to get this garage done um, because I definitely want to get it done before school starts. Um, it is July 24th and school starts on August 13th. So I reckon when I go back to work, I'm going to have to work more. Um, not because I want to, but because they're making overtime mandatory now. And so before I get into that, I want to tackle this. And I know that I can do this today. I believe for it, it's going to get done. And so let's go ahead and get into it. And I hope that you find lots of motivation. I really hope that you see how big of a task this is and see like, man, I can do it. I can do this. I want you to be motivated. I want you to be inspired. And I also want you to know that you don't have to live in an unhappy mess. It's going to be okay. You can get through it. You can change one space at a time. It is an ongoing journey for me to or learn organization, relearn organize, organizing, um, decluttering. That is such, it's just an, a lifetime. It's a lifestyle, really. It's a lifestyle. And so, and it's, it takes a lifetime to you just something that you have to do throughout your life is what i'm trying to say it's not something a one and done deal it's something that you have to incorporate on a regular basis and so we've gone way too long without organizing and decluttering this garage has been a dumping zone and and it, it makes it i'm happy we have a three-car garage but it makes it even that more of a dumping zone so this is going to be a functional place. By the time I'm done, it's going to be organized. It's going to be decluttered. I'm going to feel a weight lifted off. It's going to be, it's going to work in my favor. In Jesus name. Amen. Let's do this. <laughs> Battery is also dying. So I'm going to do a quick, quick overview of what we got going on. Like literally burnt wood. No, it's got to go. There's going to be so much trash at the end of my um, driveway, but it's okay. Um, it's okay. Somebody will go through it and want it, and it'll be fine. But this is the trash that I've got to break down. I've got to store this stuff away. I mean, I've got to go through this. This is empty. So eventually I want all of my totes to be that color up here. Um, we're just going to change one toe at a time. I want them to be this size so that I can control what I'm saving. Um, because as you can see, I have bigger totes up there. Yeah. All this is trash. Literally all this is trash. I'm going to have to end up throwing this away because I'm not storing it. It served its purpose and I'm grateful for it. All these white bags are... Clothes that we decluttered from my son's room. This is all stuff that was decluttered. I've given my... We're going to get rid of this by the end of next month. Um, this is party stuff that I need to go through and be real with myself. What I'm keeping, what I'm not. A whole bed from my daughter's room. Um, and then, and of course, my grandkids' toys. I'm probably going to declutter some of those toys. More clothes, more stuffed animals. So, yeah, this is what we're... Okay, so this is what we're working with right here. This is what we look like. Give a slow view. This is what it looks like right now. What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel, The Ever-Growing Mommy. Thank you so like much right for now. stopping by. I know what you're thinking. Didn't she just clean this garage? And yes, you are right. It was just the last video all the way clean, but we had two parties. We had started my son's room makeover, and so it just, it just is a cycle. <laughs> So here we are, we're going to be cleaning up the rest of the mess that we have this far and um, let's go ahead and get into it.
y'all remembered when I said at the beginning of this declutter, um, maybe two videos ago, I said, it's going to feel like I restarted my cleaning and decluttering over and over and over again. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, my husband came home from work. He's going to help me. <laughs> We're about to break this down. Sorry I can't show it to y'all. My phone is getting too hot. I have to cool it down. Um, Clear out this space so I can go through these boxes here with all my kids memories and i'm limiting the memories to these boxes right here which are 15 of those white boxes that you have to do yourself then i'm going to move over to this shelf and then this shelf and the last shelf will be that right over there which has all of my craft stuff party stuff i'm just gonna be honest with myself and then we also have this stuff too but that'll be last today's the day gonna get it done <laughs> it's like i try to do so much on my own and then he comes home and it's done just like that this one too mm -hmm. So I'm going to start this right here. I got this all cleared up. <coughs> this is where we're starting, right here. Okay, so in this area, it cleared up a huge space in my garage, and to this day, it's still clear up. It feels really nice and spacious. Um, I'm just going through all of my kids' memories, and it gave me just such good happy feelings i was filled with all these emotions because i literally was just going through all these memories came back okay <sighs> time capsule like literal time capsule i am going through these and it's just all the elementary and school years of my children i've always just kind of put them put them away i just put them away really just kind of ever at the end of the, every year we you get the folders and I just put them away I put them in a, the same spot piled them I'm going through them for the first time <sighs> trying to um, organize them in order I, what I'm doing right now is each box is for one kid and then I have one of my own so I'm going through it I'm putting <laughs> their stuff in their own box and then i'm gonna go through each box on another day not today another day and really kind of weed out what we don't need but this is something that i'm doing for my children so that i can give it to them as a christmas gift but um if you're a mom and you have little kids and it's just like you know what to do with all the stuff I was at the beginning I was feeling really regretful because a lot of their awards I never hung up I was just always trying to survive when my kids were little and so I didn't have the mind to think let me just play these awards so they can feel good about themselves feel celebrated big regret <laughs> but I prayed let it go there's nothing I can do in from the past but what I can do now is I can celebrate them now. And so I'm, this is a way of me celebrating them by separating their stuff. And then eventually I, I'm going to display them, even though they're all adults. I'm going to display them somewhere so that my kids know that I'm proud of them. I was surviving when they were little. And I didn't get to show them how much I was proud of them then but I'm going to make up for it in some way, some way. But I'm so thankful to see these things. And I have a box of my own that my parents gave me, um, just a few things that they saved when I was little. So I wanna do that for my kids, but I really encourage you to get a box, a box for each kid and save at the end of the school year throughout the school save 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 at the end of the year go through everything and prune out maybe one or two things and um, save the rest 
And then once they graduate, what a sweet thing to give them um, on graduation, all the memories that you saved throughout their life. So um, I hope this is helpful for somebody as I know this is not part of the video. It's a decluttering and organizing my garage. But this is just something that came up to mind and I felt like I knew I wanted to share. I'm so grateful that I saved these, these things. Um, I do have regrets, but more than the regrets, I'm holding on to the fact that I actually saved all their stuff and I can look at it now and it's just giving me this overwhelming gratitude and it just makes me so happy. I found a bag of teeth. <laughs> It makes me happy to see it is healing the heart, is healing all the parts of me that all the regrets that I have that I didn't get to do. It's healing that part, just actually seeing the stuff. So if you're a mom to little kids, my I highly recommend you to get a box and just start saving. Let me show you how I started. This is how I started. I got one of these boxes from my first job. We used Xerox paper all the time. And um, I just started, I took one home and I just put all of my kids stuff in here. And I just started saving everything they brought home. I would throw it in here. And now 25, 20 years later, 20 years later, I'm looking through it and it's just like, oh my gosh, my heart is melting. I feel so grateful to have it. But had 18, 19 year old me not done these things, I wouldn't have these feelings and I wouldn't have these memories. It's like all these memories are flooding in. And so I know my kids don't hold that over me um the things that i didn't do they are very very sweet kind loving <sighs> understanding children um my adult kids but it's just the mom and me it's like it's like i'm having to decide do i want to focus on the things i didn't get to do or do i just want to embrace this moment and be grateful and i'm doing that i'm embracing this moment and i am so grateful so grateful. I just cannot stop saying like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> like, thank you, Lord. I'm just so thankful. I'm so grateful to have these memories. So highly, highly recommend. Sorry, I didn't mean to get emotional, but highly, highly recommend to just, if you don't have the time, just put it in a box. I had a big gallon Ziploc bags. Well, they were bigger than gallons. Um, Ziploc bags that I stored some of their stuff in and I would just separate each kid by a Ziploc bag and then stored it in this box. So I hope that helps somebody. And um, just when you get a chance, nap time or something, have the kids go with grandma and grandpa for a weekend and just start putting them in, organizing them. I've seen people put them in um, binders. Each kid had their own binder. Um, mine, unfortunately, has way too much. <laughs> so that's why I'm putting them in these boxes here. And then eventually I'll go through each box and just kind of eliminate what they probably don't need um, and go from there, but yeah. <laughs> cool time capsule moment for me <laughs> okay y'all it is one o'clock and i am gonna have to call it quits for right now i don't know if i'm gonna make it back out here i am exhausted i've been out here since nine o'clock this morning um so i didn't get as far as i thought i would get but it's okay i'm thankful for where i got so i'm gonna show y'all where i got um, okay, so I've separated all their school stuff. Now I'm getting into the pictures, and it's just like, <sighs> I need to put all this away so I can put more boxes out here for their pictures. Um, but look at the space we have here. Oh my gosh, just one more box. 
um, and this is pictures, and so I'm so grateful. I did a lot, and that's what's making me have peace. Um, emptied two containers right here, going through the third one and the fourth one probably later tonight, but this is where I got. I'm going to put the lids on these and store them away so I can do the pictures later today, but I need to go take a break. Space over here is totally clean. I have a spot for Christmas, my daughter's memories, daughter's sons and son's memories. Um, so there are, and then all that stuff hasn't been touched yet. So here's the thing, I have memories for my kids. So they're going to have one memory box of all their elementary stuff. Then they're gonna have a box of all their baby things and um, things that I kept throughout the years like special shirts and memories from their jobs and things like that so they'll have a box of that and then they'll have a box of pictures so I didn't realize it was going to be that much but they're going to each have three boxes each um, and that's okay that's okay it's actually it's going to be okay because it's something that I've put off for over 20 years and getting to it today is a, is a task for sure, but it's going to be well worth it. So, yes, one box for their elementary memories, like the work that they did throughout their school, another box of their pictures, and then another box of all the actual um, memories of, like, their baby clothes and school clothes and work clothes, things like that that I kept. So, Coming along, it doesn't look like I did much, but I made a huge dent in this space. It's open and free, and it makes me happy to see. So I'm thankful, thankful, thankful. So I'm going to go take a break, go inside, and um, get some rest, get some food, shut the garage down for a little bit, probably come back out about three. It is one. Okay, I'll pick back up later. Okay, y'all, we are coming up to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you so much. I really hope that this spoke to you and gave you some ideas for your children, for your memories, for the things that you just haven't been able to tackle. I mean, it's never too late to start. Look at me 20 years later, and I'm finally getting this done. So don't ever think like it's too late and don't let that lie stop you from getting to an organized place. It did for me for many, 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 many years and enough is enough. So I just wanted to say thank you again and I will see you in my next video where we will hopefully see the final finale of this garage declutter. May the Lord bless you shine his face upon you and give you peace.